hey guys welcome back to automation elearn i'm your friend suresh dubey and in this video i'm going to discuss very interesting concept related to git commit command when we use it with hyphen a flag so guys why this topic is important to discuss here because if you will search for this topic on the internet so everywhere it is mentioned like if you will use git commit with hyphen a flag then it will skip git staging area and it will directly perform commit operation but in this video i am going to decode this does it really skip staging area or not to understand this these are the topics that we are going to discuss today we will briefly talk about git architecture where we will mainly focus on what are the different stages that we have in git and briefly i'll show you what are the standard commands how we perform commit operation and after that i'll talk about performing a commit operation with hyphen a flag and there are couple of problems which are associated with this command we'll talk about that too and after understanding these flows i'll talk about does it really skip staging area so we'll try to decode this we'll try to understand how git commit hyphen a works exactly so we'll try to decode this so let's start our discussion by understanding what are the different stages we have in git so guys this is git fortree architecture i have already discussed git architecture and git workflow in detail in one of my previous video you can take a reference from git playlist on my youtube channel as you can see we have two repository one is the local and another one is the remote in the local repository we have three different stages first one is a working area where we change our files we modify or we add or we delete the content and once we are done we use git add command to add those files those updated files or new files to git staging index staging area and from there we perform git commit to add it to local repository and it generate commit id so this is the typical flow we'll modify in a working area and then we have to add it to staging index using git add and after that using git commit i'll commit it to my local repository and after that once we use git push it will be part of remote repository so these are the three stages and the two commands which help us to move our files from one stage to another so that is a typical flow i was talking about so let me quickly show the demo for standard flow so here i am on my sample project repository and uh, i have two files which are untracked so what i have to do here is i have to use git add command to move our files from working area to staging index currently these two files are in my working area so i can use git add and the files which i want to add for example i want to add m1.txt git add m1.txt so what this command will do is it will move m1.txt from working area to staging index staging area so if i'll check status here m1.txt is part of my staging index now and m2 is still a part of working area and now i can use git commit command and i can give a message for example added m1.txt so what this command will do is whatever files are available in my staging index here in staging index on the console whatever files we are seeing in the green color are a part of staging index so git commit hyphen m will take all the files which are part of staging index and it will perform a commit operation it will move those files from staging index to local repository and it will generate a commit id so if i'll execute this and uh, if i'll check uh, log you can see here commit id is generated and this is the commit message that we have given if i'll check status now then we only have m2.txt in untracked section because we have not added m2.txt so this is the standard flow that typically we do if i'll check history here if we check the the commands that i have executed so first i did git add and the name of the file and then i performed git commit and with m flag which is basically for message this command took my m1.txt or whatever files available in the staging index took those files and move it to local repository and generate a commit id so these are the two commands that we executed so this was all about a standard flow typical flow we have not used any extra flag or so 
let me clear the screen and uh, check the status so we have m2.txt let me modify m1.txt we can add some content if i'll check the status so here we can see m1.txt is modified and m2.txt is still untracked because we have not added that okay let me talk about the command that i am going to use now as i explained earlier we have used two commands git add and git commit and this time what i am going to do is i am going to use git commit with hyphen a flag because hyphen m anyways we have to use with git commit so what is the addition here addition is hyphen a flag so directly i will be executing this command and we'll see what happens so here m1.txt is modified and m2 is untracked if i'll use git commit hyphen a hyphen m and message modified file if i'll execute this and check status so as you can see here we have m2.txt here but m1.txt which we have modified is already committed to my local repository let me clear the screen and check log now we have two commits this is the recent commit that we performed with the message modified file and that we performed with this command we used git commit directly hyphen a and this is for message let me explain what exactly happens here when we use this flag we modified my m1.txt right that was in my working area and i used git commit with hyphen a flag and it directly perform a commit operation and here we can see this is the commit id and this is the commit message we have not used git add but we used hyphen a flag so this is the new addition to git commit command it took my files from working area and perform a commit operation to my local repository and generated the commit id and looking at the status we still have m2.txt available in untracked section and here we have a problems so what git commit hyphen a will do is it will consider the files which are already being tracked by git that's why it took m1.txt and just because m2.txt is untracked so it will not consider m2.txt that's why we are still seeing m2 as a part of untracked section and this is one of the disadvantage one of the problem associated with this command what is the other problem here i modified m1 and i used git commit hyphen a and it directly perform commit operation generated commit id it means this commit is having a changes related to m1.txt tomorrow if i'll modify some other files for example m3.txt and if i'll use this command then it will take m3.txt provided it is being tracked by git and it will perform a commit operation if we will keep performing such operations then our commit history would not be very good it will not be managed if we will follow that approach then we will have a lot of commits and basically we'll have a one commit for one file that is actually not a good practice that we should be following so if we will use git commit hyphen a then we cannot follow atomic commit principle we should try to keep commit history very clean so that if someone else is referring to commit history to understand something then it should be easy to understand it should be easy to follow these are the few potential problem which are associated with git commit hyphen a first one it will not consider untracked file second one it will not keep your commit history clean third one we cannot follow atomic commit principle so guys atomic commit principle i had a separate discussion you can check that video from my playlist to understand what exactly atomic commit is and what are the different advantages we will get if we will follow atomic commit principle all right so till now we are very much clear about what are the different stages and what is the standard flow in standard flow we use these two commands to move our files through different stages and using hyphen a we use this command which will directly commit my my files to local repository and we also talk about the problems now let me talk about the the real concept like how this particular command works does it really skip staging area or not so here we need to understand two points first one we have different stages working area staging index and local repository and we have to move our files through these stages 
in a sequential manner we cannot skip that once i am done with working area i have to add my files to staging index then only it can be taken further to local repository in normal flow we use git add and git commit right but with this command when we use git hyphen a so this command is nothing but a combination of these two basically so here a means all what hyphen a does is it internally perform it internally add all the files to staging index and after that it perform a commit operation this is what exactly happens when we use git commit command with hyphen a flag and uh, i can also show you git document for the same so if i'll use git commit help so it will open your git manual and here you can see we are talking about git commit and uh, if we will scroll down here we have hyphen a or hyphen hyphen all tell the command to automatically stage files that we have been modified or deleted automatically stage files means if you refer the architecture diagram it will automatically stage all the files which are modified and which are being tracked by git so whatever files we have in working area it will be internally automatically added to staging index and then it will perform a commit operation so this is what it is mentioned in the manual tell the command to automatically stage files that have been modified or deleted but new files that have not told git about are not affected it means here m2 so my git is not aware about m2.txt so m2.txt will not be considered if i use hyphen a this is what clearly mentioned in the manual but as i mentioned earlier if you will search for this topic on the internet everywhere you will see like okay it skipped the staging index and directly performed commit operation but looking at the fundamental we cannot perform commit operation if we will not add our files to staging index okay so to conclude this this command does not skip staging index internally it will add those files to staging index and then it commit it further so that was the our intention for today's discussion we wanted to understand whether does it really skip staging area so answer is no it does not and actually we cannot skip any stage we have to follow that sequence that's all i had for today guys i hope you have learned something new from this video let me know in the comment section if you have any question or any doubt related to these topics and if you are new to the channel please subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends thank you for running this one thank you